Of all the fantasy matchups we can create and come up with for the characters of Assassin's Creed, Connor vs. Shay is one of the ones that could have very possibly happened. In fact, a while back I wrote my own Assassin's Creed game for a video called AC Vengeance with Arno, Avalyn, Connor, and Shay, and these two actually fought in that. Obviously, they're both alive and members of the Assassins and Templars respectively in the same time period. Connor killed Haytham and dismantled the colonial Templar Reich that Shay helped to build and establish by taking down Achilles and his assassins. So who's to say Shay wouldn't eventually head back to the colonies and clash with Connor? He very clearly knows of Connor and what he did, as seen at the end of Rogue. Old Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. So I think we definitely should have gotten this fight at some point, but oh well. What we're here to talk about in today's video is comparing Connor and Shay in numerous categories and trying to determine who would win in a fight between these two. I think we can all agree this would be a pretty entertaining fight to watch unfold. Shay would be making his own, make luck own luck and Connor will still be hunting Charles Lee like, even though he's like, long dead. Like. Oh, and let's not forget, both of these guys had the same mentor for their assassin training, Achilles. But of course, one of, if not the most important things to keep in consideration in a battle between assassin and Templar is each combatant's physicality and athleticism. I think we all know Connor is an absolute machine, insane brute strength, great athleticism, he's arguably the strongest assassin of any we've seen in the series. Shay is a little bit more scrawny, he's still clearly very strong, I mean you kind of have to be, but I think it's clear in a competition of physical traits, Connor far outshines Shay. So if these two were to fight straight up in one-on-one -on -one combat, no trickery or gadgets, just a good old fight, I think Connor would likely win. Again, his strength is overpowering, and while I'm sure Shay would more than hold his own, I just don't think he'd be a match for Connor in one-on-one -on -one combat. That's especially true if this is the older version of Shay we see at the end of Rogue, which would have been the version Connor would face if they actually fought. But even Shay in his prime, I don't think beats prime Connor in combat. As for stealth, however, Shay has the clear advantage. Connor was never much of a stealthy assassin. He's definitely more of a warrior archetype, and maybe you blame this on AC3's mission structure and it encouraging combat over stealth throughout the game, but you never got to see a lot of those classic assassin stealth missions. And part of that is just because that's not Connor's style. Sure, he's capable in stealth, and his roots as a native, using trees and all sorts of different traps is certainly useful, but compared to someone like Shay who had stealth training drilled into him as an assassin, and his preference to stick to the shadows even when a Templar, that and his entire kit is far more suited for stealth than Connor with the silent air rifle, Shay definitely beats Connor when it comes to stealth. Now intelligence is obviously subjective, but Connor doesn't necessarily have the reputation of being one of the series' smartest assassins. I mean, he's known for his brawn, not his brains. He doesn't always act the smartest and most rational, but he has his moments for sure. When compared to Shay, I think Shay is generally the more intelligent of the two. If you even look at how Shay was able to think for himself and realize what the assassins were doing and following what would lead to his ultimate goal of peace. Connor had many moments in AC3 where he questioned the assassins and their conflict with the Templars, sort of similar to Shay. Granted, the situation was a little different because Achilles was definitely in the wrong in AC Rogue, but Connor ultimately stood his ground and stayed true to his convictions, even after being betrayed countless times, which deserves some credit on his own. Shay's the more intelligent, but Connor has some pretty incredible resolve. And then finally, something very important to consider in a battle is experience. Obviously, by the end of AC Rogue, Shay has a near lifetime's worth of experience as first an assassin and a longtime member of the Templar Order. However, Connor goes through his fair share in AC3 and gains years worth of combat experience, especially when fighting Templars. He even killed Haytham, and although Haytham let him, even Shay seemed to be a little frightened of Haytham. So does Shay's extra years of experience matter when Connor has also gone through so many different fights and encounters, especially those where he was injured or essentially 
handicapped in one way or another. I do think experience is important and would give Shay a slight advantage, especially if he plays it smart. But is experience enough to beat the relentless Connor Kenway? I don't know, this is a pretty tough decision. Connor easily has the advantage in physicality, athleticism, and melee combat, while Shay is smarter, more experienced, and the more stealthy of the two. If these two were to fight, I think in the end, Connor would come out victorious. Again, it depends a lot on circumstances and the general situation, but Connor is near impossible to bring down. I wouldn't count him out even if he's missing both of his arms. He's just that deadly and relentless. I think in this case, those physical attributes trump Shay's intelligence and experience, but you never know. It's not like my opinion is law here, but I feel like Connor would likely win. Again, that's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments who you feel would win and why. I've made tons of other videos like this. I have a whole playlist if you'd like to check it out. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you considered leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.